Hello, my name is Alex Basuk. My name is Ben Darbro. And I'm Vineeth Mahajan. We are clinician scientists from the University of Iowa, and we will be discussing our manuscript in Human Mutation, entitled Mutations in Extracellular Matrix Genes NID1 and LAMC1 Cause Autosomal Dominant Dandy Walker Malformation and Occipital Cephalocele. The Dandy Walker Malformation is characterized by variable cerebellar hypoplasia, meningeal anomalies, and occipital skull defects. In 2004, we described a three-generation pedigree that had variable Dandy Walker malformation with occipital skull defects, indicated in this MRI by the white arrow, that appeared to be inherited in an autosomal dominant manner. The dark figures in the pedigree all represent individuals with the malformation. The skull defects appear as small outpouchings on the back of the head, circled here. Several other multi-generation pedigrees with autosomal dominant inheritance have been described in the last decade, including a family from India, outlined in this pedigree, where we have a child, his father and grandfather, who all have the defects. Here is an example of the occipital cephalocele in this family, and here is an x-ray demonstrating the skull defect. To directly determine if a protein coding mutation segregated with the Dandy Walker phenotype in the original pedigree, we re-examined this family by whole exome capture and massively parallel sequencing. Whole exome sequencing was performed for seven affected family members with cephalocele. Resequencing of putative segregating variants by Sanger sequencing in the entire pedigree revealed only a single mutation that was present in all 14 affected family members, all with Dandy Walker variant uh, cerebellar vermal hypoplasia, and absent from 384 ethnically matched control chromosomes or large genomic databases such as the 1000 Genomes Project and Exome Variant Server databases. The variation we found was a nonsense mutation in the gene NID or NID1. The NID1 protein coordinates extracellular matrix protein interactions. The family from India was also examined for NID1 mutations by Sanger resequencing, however no NID1 mutations were discovered. Since the functional consequence of the NID1 stop mutation found in the first family, was the deletion of several domains that interact with other extracellular matrix proteins, we investigated binding partner interactions that might be disrupted. A NID1 interactome was generated, and NID1 interacting proteins were considered as candidate genes for the Indian family. The coding sequence for each of these genes was then interrogated following whole exome capture and massive parallel sequencing of family 2. Only a single mutation from the NID1 interactome segregated with the phenotype in the Indian Dandy Walker family. This segregating variant corresponded to a missense mutation in the LAMC1 gene. This gene encodes the laminin gamma chain. This mutation was not found in any control database. The variant alters a threonine residue conserved throughout evolution. Since LAMC1 was selected as a candidate gene based on its physical interaction with NID1, we investigated how the mutation might disrupt this interaction by computational, three-dimensional, structural homology modeling of the involved domains in the context of the known interaction. The NID1 stop mutation results in a loss of the entire G2 and G3 regions of NID1 including the beta propeller domain that directly interacts with LAMC1. The LAMC1 mutation occurs in the epidermal growth factor like 6 domain, a highly conserved rigid structure with four disulfide linkages compared to three disulfide linkages of a typical EGF domain. This mutation maps to a four residue beta sheet featured in red, one of only three short stretches in this domain with secondary structure Normally, the buried threonine is constrained by a rigid disulfide linkage on either side, and mutation to a 25% larger residue such as methionine is predicted to significantly decrease the stability of the protein, primarily due to steric clashes with neighboring residues. In addition to furthering our understanding of the genetics of Dandy Walker spectrum disorders, our study demonstrates several important aspects of combining next-generation sequencing technologies, proteomics, and tertiary structural modeling.